What's up guys, I'm Rustin from RustinMartech.com and this is my new tutorial series, Swift Programming. Now, this is Apple's new programming language they released about a week ago. It's brand new. So before we can get started, you're going to need to do a few things. First off, you need to have an Apple developer account, either an OS X or an iOS developer account, and it's not free. There are certain free uh, versions you can get, but to download Xcode 6 beta, which we're gonna need to program in the Swift programming language, you're gonna need to pay $99. It's $99 a year, and you can uh, do a lot of cool stuff with a developer account, like download the new beta versions of like iOS, devices and all that cool stuff but again you need to have an apple developer account either than ios x or an mac developer account but once you get that developer account you're going to open up safari and i already have the page open and it's developer.apple.com and forward slash dev center i'm using the ios dev center because i uh, paid for a Mac iOS developer account again it's $99 a year it's either if you want to program for Macs or you want to program for iOS devices like iPads or iPhones you have to choose one our my tutorial series is not going to uh, weigh more towards on the Mac or on the iOS devices I'm just going to teach you how to program in Swift and the Swift language will be used both on again iOS and OS X devices so again, this is for only downloading the, the beta version of uh, Xcode 6. This, once Xcode 6 is a full version, it's going to be completely free. So if you guys uh, want to wait till it's free, then download it. Instead of paying $99 for the developer account, you can. Otherwise, if you want to start right away, you need to have that Apple developer account. So then we're going to click on iOS 8 beta right here. So again, after you guys create your um, developer accounts, you, you, you can either uh, create one for an, a Mac or for uh, iOS, either iOS X or iOS devices. I chose iOS. So I'm going to click on iOS beta, iOS 8 beta. And down here, you're going to see a download link for Xcode 6. You're going to click on it. Now, I already downloaded and installed mine. You're just going to click on the download link, let it download. Once it's finished downloading, right? I'll show you on a list. This, this is what it's going to look like right here. Xcode 6 beta. You're going to click on that here and then double click on the file here and let it uh, run and follow the instructions. Let's minimize that. Now, once it's finished downloading and you installed it, you want to drag it to your applications then drag a link to your desktop. So we're going to want to double click on this icon here. Then uh, we're going to want to click on get started with playground. We gotta give our playground a name, choose the location where you wanna save your playground. I'm gonna choose my documents and I'm gonna call my playground, my playground, that's fine. And I'm gonna click on create. This is where we're gonna be doing some of our coding. And here we, we got, we're allowed to test out the code and stuff like that. So automatically when we started a new playground, it gave us a couple lines of code and this is Swift code. So I wanna talk more about this code in the next tutorial. So this is it for this video. If you guys like this video, please give me a like. If you want more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. I'm Rasim from RossmerTech.com and thanks for watching.